everyone and welcome to the Math Tablet. In this session we're having a look at adding and subtracting mixed numerals. Let's have a look at an example. Suppose we have eight and a quarter and we are subtracting two and a half from it. Okay. What we do in situations like this where we are subtracting or indeed adding mixed numeral is to change each of the mixed numeral into an improper fraction first. Okay, so here we go. 4 eighths, 32, add 1 gives me 33 over 4. And on the other side, 2 twos are 4, add 1 is 5. So what I've done is rewritten each of those mixed numerals as improper fractions. Now that I've got them as improper fractions, I look carefully at the denominators. So in this case, the denominators here are different, so I need to change them so that they do have the same denominator before I subtract. So my lowest common denominator in this case will be 4, so the first fraction remains the same. With the second fraction, I need to change it so it has a denominator of 4, so times by 2, times by 2. So I need to now work out 33 over 4 minus 10 over 4. That's quite easy. That's 23 over 4 as your answer in terms of a an improper fraction. And if you wanted to then give it as a mixed numeral, 4 goes into 23 five times with a remainder of 3. And that's your answer in a mixed numeral format. Let's have a look at one more example. Suppose this time we want to add five and a half to seven eighths. Now again, once you see the mixed numeral, change it to an improper fraction. So two fives are ten, add one will make eleven. So eleven over two is the improper fraction there. The seven eighths I'm doing nothing with. It just sat there looking very pretty. Then, now I've got these two fractions to add together. I need to have a common denominator. In this case, my lowest common denominator is 8. So again, the 7 eighths to nothing, but sit there looking pretty. And on the other side, let's see, times by 4, times by 4. The equivalent fraction there is 44 over 8. Now that I've got them with the same denominators, I can quite easily add the numerators together. So that's going to give me 51 over 8 as my answer um, in terms of an improper fraction. Or if you wanted to, you could then change it into a mixed numeral. Okay, so 8 goes into 51 six times with a remainder of 3. Your answer is either 51 over 8 or 6 and 3 eighths. I hope you have enjoyed the session of the Math Tablet.